Hello guys, what's up? <coughs> Hello guys, what's up? So today, I'm going to be doing a nice look like I did right over here. So today's makeup is done with all of my new products. Some of these products are not really that new, but it's just new to me. And some products are really new. It's been so long since I've made a video in English, and I feel like I say this every time I make an English video. Hmm. Which kind of means that I'm lazy, but that's actually the truth, so... What can I say? I'm lazy. I admit it. I admit it that I'm lazy. I can't get my lazy ass to get working on my videos. I can't get my lazy ass up. So you can blame me. Shame on me. Anyways, I'm back. This is like one of my favorite, favorite videos to film. Trying out new makeup, trying out new products. If you want to go ahead and see some new products and see how I got this makeup, it's all nice and juicy and glowing, right? Then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay. Okay, let's go. I'm putting on my contacts. Hello. So, the first thing we're going to be doing, I got this kit. I know it's like super big and blue. It says super Chiron. It's like Chiron for hyaluronic acid, I guess. <laughs> and it's like this big, large kit. This is from the brand VT Cosmetics. The majority of the products that I'm going to be using today are from VT Cosmetics because they sent me like a whole bundle of VT Cosmetics cosmetics. So I'm going to be trying a lot of those out today. So in the kit, we have a toner, an emulsion, and little sample sizes of the toner and the emulsion. And they also sent me like an ample, some cleansing foam, and a pretty big large one at that. They also sent me some cream. And lastly, like these eye patches, masks for your eyes. But I'm only going to be using these today for the makeup because I haven't got all day. I can't show you like all the products they sent me so I'm just going to be using these today. Okay, first thing I'm going to be using is the Super Hyron Skin Booster. Mm, it really smells refreshing so I'm going to just put a little bit of that on my cotton pad here. I'm just going to go ahead and use that to tone up my skin. I don't know if you guys can see but I hope you guys don't see. My skin has been terrible for the past couple of days weeks i guess i don't know but i've been getting like acne blemishes everywhere it is a disaster i don't know what was the reason i, I first thought it was like ps but no then i think again i don't think it's because of ps i think it's because of the masks you know covid everywhere you have to wear masks every day and you know how the mask makes you feel like you're suffocating you're breathing through it all day and it's like hot and humid outside so i'm getting oily and my skin can't can't breathe. So that's why I've been getting like spots and acne and redness all over my face, I think. <sighs> but anyways, I hate myself. Okay, now we're gonna try the emulsion. The consistency is pretty runny and smells the same. I really love that it's like big, super large. It's 250 milliliters. Whoop. That feels pretty light and good. Yeah. So that was refreshing. The next product I'm going to be using is kind of helpful for the situations that I'm kind of going through right now. I'm going to take it out of the box. It is a sunscreen that is supposed to be like really soothing on your skin. Because you know it has it kind of it kind of really helps with the redness. So it's like a really refreshing sun essence that's supposed to protect your face without making it too oily. Which is what I need now. Oops. It smells really nice. It doesn't smell anything like bunny sunscreen. You know, the ones that really smell. Not bad. It's pretty moisturizing. You can see my face glowing. Okay, I can see that it gives moisture, but I don't know. It does feel kind of oily. I really, really don't need any oil on my face right now. That's the last thing I want to get. Oh, and by the way, excuse my nails. Now I'm going to go ahead and just like hop on to some real makeup right now. I'm done with skincare. This is the VT Cosmetics Pro Glass Collagen Act. I already opened it up. <laughs> I didn't try any of the products that I'm going to be using today. They're all new products, but I just opened it up because I was curious to see what the packaging looked like. And surprise, the packaging literally looks gorgeous. You see all the glitters dropping down? Oh my goodness gracious. Isn't this like the cushion you've always dreamed of? Well, I'll tell you, it's what I've always dreamed of. I mean, I love glittery packaging. I love fancy bling bling glittery packaging. <laughs> oh my god, even the sponge has glitter on it. I mean, I can't. Oh, very unexpected. That's what the inside looks like. This looks like one of the like comedy pets. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's not really a sponge to sponge cushion. It is actually a sponge to cream foundation cushion. So, yeah, and it says collagen, so it's supposed to make the face look really dewy with a nice glow. Yeah. 
but let's see how the coverage is going to be i'm gonna put a little bit i'm gonna make it a whirl Ooh, okay okay i feel this okay i kind of see where this is going this is more like a hat that makes your skin look really dewy and glowy with a little bit of coverage that's not really the foundation that i'm looking for because i do really need a lot of coverage on my face at the moment but i like that it's really staying true to the concept of collagen oh it is super dewy it really has a nice glow the coverage is not really that great i really love this in the winter but i wouldn't really like use this too much in the summer especially Especially when I'm like putting on masks every day. I'm really not going to reach out for this at the moment, but it's a genuine dewy foundation that stays totally true to the concept. So thumbs on that. I'm really getting that glow on my face right now. You can obviously see it, but just mentioning it again. <laughs> I don't think the coverage is buildable. If you build this up on your skin, I think it's gonna make it really cakey. So I'm just gonna stay with like a really slight layer. I guess we'll just kind of like not really care too much about the cover it's all about the glow today so there we have if you have a concept for today's makeup it's all about healthy glow not really much about the coverage so thanks for giving me a concept <laughs> i like how the sponge is shaped like a hexagon and then you can just like get into little corners like the sides of your nose and like under your eyes like really easier than just rounded looking sponges so i am going to be needing a little powder because i feel too hot right now my skin's feeling kind of oily i think i'm gonna do a little bit of powdering and some brows then I'll head on right back. Okay, I'm back with the powdering and the brows. Now let's move on to the eye makeup. This is also from BT Cosmetics. And you know, I gotta say, I do really appreciate their packaging because I just opened this up and this also looks gorgeous as well. So this is the BT Daily Palette in number two, Pink Daisy. So it's like a eyeshadow, cheek, and lip all in one. They have natural shades, sensual colors, and creamy textures. Oh my god, would you just look at the packaging? It's it's like gray with golden edges. Oh, that is so gorgeous. There are three shades. So I think they're supposed to be for like eyeshadow and blush. Oh my God, the texture, you guys. This is really cool. It's super creamy. I don't know if you can see, but you know, it's like super creamy. It's somewhat of a cream plus powder formula. Now let's take a look at this pink shade. So I think we can definitely use this for eyeshadow or we could just use it for blush as well. It doesn't really matter. I'm gonna take the next pink shade let's watch it Ooh, that one's creamy as well so these are the three shades that's a big large red blush that's the pink on the first row and that's the pink on the second row and i also have another bt cosmetic palette that i want to show you guys and this is like uh, like I really love their packaging. And I just opened the box to just kind of like check how it looks like, but I didn't use any of it. <sighs> Get ready for this, guys. <sighs> oh my god. So you just, oh my god. Oh my freaking god. You should have seen the look on my face when I first saw this palette. I was like, oh my god this is like the palette of my dreams it's an eyeshadow palette with pink glitter on it i can't even there are six beautiful shades inside there oh my god i gotta say i really love the packaging i keep all of these palettes even though i use it all i should swatch some of these shades for you guys so let me start off with the lightest color it's a nice soft brown color super powdery and the second color this one's like a reddish brown with gold shimmers in it. I notice all these colors are like really powdery. And the next shade is like this really glittery orange. Wow. And the glitter chunks are pretty big. And the next shade is like this true gold color. Ooh, somewhat of an orange gold copper-ish shade. And the next one is like a matte brown color, which is slightly darker than the first brown shade that I showed you guys. And then the last shade is this dark brown color with a bit of shimmer inside. There I have all of the six shades for you guys. And honestly, all these colors are super creamy. They slide on beautifully and I like it. So I'm probably gonna use these two palettes, mix them around to create some kind of a look here. I don't know. Why don't we just like incorporate all of the shades of this palette and just kind of throw in a pop of these colors for a little bit of fun. I do not know what I'm going with this, but I'm just gonna improvise. Improvising is what I'm really talented in. I'm kind of good at improvising. It's one of my very many talents, you see? Okay, so I'm just gonna take this matte brown shade, the first shade in the palette. Okay, I'm just gonna try to run that along the eye. 
they are a little dusty. They're flying over everywhere. Okay, I'm applying this shade all over my eyes. And also, I'm going to put it under my eyes as well. And I got in my eye. Oh, it's like really powdery. Floating around everywhere. So be careful because it might get in your eye. I gotta say, the shade is a lot more orangier than I thought. I'm thinking I should take this the darker brown color. The matte one. I'm just going to run that along the corners of my eye. The outer corners of my eyes. Step by step. Creating a depth in my eye. Because right now, I don't see any depth. I need to create that. I'm also gonna run this on the lower part of my eye. It's gonna create a little V there. You know what? I think I'm gonna do kind of like a eye that flares out to the outer part. So I'm just gonna extend my eyeshadow length. I'm just gonna bring it all the way out. It's not really a fox eye look, but next I'm taking this brown shade with gold shimmers in it. I'm gonna use that on my double eyelid line, like right over here. And I'm also flicking that out to the outer part. So it's gonna stay on my double eyelid. Not going too far up. I really don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of improvising just like I said. <laughs> I said I was talented in improvising, but if I mess this up, maybe I'm not talented in anything. Okay, I jumped to conclusions way too fast, don't I? I'm getting really creative here, and I really haven't done any kind of like creative looks in a while. I'm really excited. I'm starting to feel like a real YouTube creator. Be with me on this happy moment, guys. Influenza. <laughs> Don't. Next, I think I'm gonna use this orange shade with shimmers inside. I think I'm gonna put that on my lid. You know, that's, that's where the glitter usually goes. I was worried that this might fall everywhere, but so far so good. Okay, now I'm really loving that glitter. Can you see it? It's super popping on my lid and I like it. Oh, I'm gonna take this gold shade and maybe put that on my lower. I think you'll start right over here. Ooh, let's look at that gold shade on the bottom. It's like really pretty. And the last color, I'm just gonna run this really lightly on the outer parts of my double eyelid line right over here. Create a little bit more depth with this. So now I'm really starting to get the vibe of how this look is gonna turn out on that goddamn book. And the glitter is kind of starting to fall everywhere, but I'm just gonna pretend I'm really chill with it. Before we get into my eyeliner, I just want to use this blush that I showed you guys. This red shade. So I'm just gonna use that first and just kind of use the lighter shades to blend it out if it's a little too red, you know. Okay, my foundation is creasing everywhere. I don't like it. I'm just gonna use this Picasso 108 brush. Then I'm using the lightest pink shade to kind of like make the red a little bit more lighter. And also blend at the same time. So the glitter is falling everywhere, but it's not that bad, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, the blush looks pretty lovely. The eyeliner is also a new product that I got. And I really wanted to try this eyeliner. It's Esbar's No Mudging Brush Liner. No mudging means like obviously no smudging. So I have really high expectations on this. It says it doesn't smudge. Well, will it not smudge? Oh, and I love the packaging. Will you just look at that? It's red, super chic with like a simple logo that says Esbar very Frenchy and I like it. It is in the color intense black. I'm just gonna do a nice wing with this. I like that the tip is really sharp so you can create like an edgy little line. It looks like this. It's a silicone tip. I created that little sharp edgy line effortlessly. So far so good. I'm liking it. Oh my god, will you just look at the difference? It's like I'm born again. I really like this eyeliner. It's super pigmented. It's like super black. Silicone tips move around really easily. Okay, my liner is finished. You know what? I really, really like this eyeliner. Okay, first of all, it's like super black. It makes my eyes like... They make it look like it has definition. Well, it didn't have any before this. And I don't know about the no mudging because I haven't really tested this all day. So I don't know if it really does not smudge at all or not. But it is a liquid eyeliner. So it's not going to smudge that much. But you know, I really love the silicone tip. It really helps you create that firm line effortlessly. Um, yeah, I really like it. So now I've got to do my lashes. But unfortunately, I don't have any new mascara or any kind of eyelash products that I have to try. So, so I'm just going to do my eyelashes off camera but I will leave the information on products that I used in the description box down below. Okay, I'm back with the lashes. And now, I have to contour. For contouring, I'm going to be using this reshading from Peri Para. It is the number three hazel gray color. And I have to get my hands on this hazel gray color because I have really fair skin and this contour palette has like the perfect contour shades for people with fair skin. The saturation is pretty low. It's really cool and gray. No orange. 
this. I don't want a bronzer. I want a contour powder. So I thought this would be like the perfect contour powder to try on my face. So I'm gonna try it on my face. I'm just gonna dive into like the darkest shade. So I'm just basically giving more definition to my jawline. I don't know if you guys can see, but I do have a jawline. <laughs> like right over here. I do have one. <laughs> now I'm gonna mix the middle shade and the lightest shade. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and cover the whole outer part. And I'm using circular motions, so I don't really have like a straight line over there. Nobody wants that. Make it seem less obvious. The lighting makes it harder to see the color on here, but I think I'm gonna reach out for this a lot more often because I don't really want a harsh contour line. This is just enough. And now for the lip. <laughs> I have a lot of products that I want to show you guys. I have a bunch of new lip products at the moment right now. And I also did a swatch on the um, Dear Dahlia Sensuous Matte Lip Suits. Uh, yeah, which will be right over here. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. Anyways, I have a bunch of new lip products, including that and other stuff. And the ones that I want to try on today are these Dew Tints from Amuse Cosmetics. Amuse me, will you? <laughs> oh, and I'm dropping that everywhere. <laughs> trends these days are, are like the really glossy juicy glass coated lip glossy plumping syrup looking lips and i really like glossy lips but i like matte lips more than glossy lips because glossy lips do wear off pretty easily and i do like lips that do last long and really looks matte and velvety on the lips but lately i've been really into glossy lips but i can't wear them because i have to wear masks everywhere like can't wear glossy lips with masks it's gonna get all over your mask and now it's gonna get all all over your face and no not cute girl not cute so i've been kind of like setting them aside at the moment but but i do wear them at home funny right uh -huh. i haven't opened this up so i do not know what it looks like how it feels like so this is definitely new for me i have five shades i think they have like 10 8 or 10 or 12 I think it was 10. They have 10 shades. Anyways, but I only got five because I didn't want all of them. Oh, that is really pretty. You know, I really love the translucent packaging. It's like so gorgeous. That is what the packaging looks like. This is shade number one and it's Lavion Coral. Life is coral. That one looks like this. You see the texture is like pretty jelly-like. It really sticks onto your skin really well. I mean, it's kind of sticky and jelly-like. Oh, and I see the pigmentation is quite good. Oh my god, it's already stained on there. I might have to put foundation on. The next shade I have is number three. And this is called Flower Market. Ooh. Flower market looks like that. Ooh, it's a really pretty pink color. Oh my god, it's really gorgeous. <gasps> Gosh, the stain is intense, guys. <sighs> I might have a hard time getting this off. The next shade I have is number five. This one is called Hip Zero. It's not Hip Zero, it's like actually Hip Zero, which means in Korean like a hip road. The street is like really hip. The road is like really hip. So you're walking down the street and you're hip. Kind of like that. I, I really think you could just like ignore the big lot of stain that's on my hands over here. This is like a really orangey coral color. Oh my god, such a bubbly and cute color. It's kind of like those watermelon shades, the big orange watermelons. I think this is like one of the most popular colors. And now we have number six. And this one's called Fig Dew. And what a coincidence! I just had figs for lunch. Well, actually, it's not for lunch. I had it for like a little snack after my lunch, but coincidence. Thing. So I'm just gonna do it like right next to that blot. Those are really dewy. Love that color. You see that? It's a really pretty color. Last but not least, I have number eight, Spring Night. Spring Night's like really plummy. Well, ain't that nice and plummy? Oh my god, it looks really juicy. I keep it juicy, juicy. Do they really smell like plum or is it just in my head? Okay, so these are the five beautiful shades of the Dew Tint. And just like the naming, it is really dewy. You know, I really love their translucent packaging and that glow, the beam of light that just comes from these packagings. Can you just look at this? I mean, it's like totally summer wearable. It screams summer. Something you would put in a PVC bag. Oh my God, it'd be so pretty if you did that. But I haven't tried them on the lips yet. So which one should I try? And I think I'm gonna go with the, I don't know, maybe be like two or three shades because i really love them all i think this is like one of the most popular colors so i'm just gonna use number five 
they don't really smell like anything. I kind of expect them to smell something like juice and stuff, but well, they do smell like something, but it's not strong. I can't really make it out. Oh god, oh my god, that is so pretty. You see how it like instantly plumps my lips? It looks super healthy and pretty and cute. I'm just gonna accent around my cupid's bow so that it'll make it look super kawaii. Really makes your lips pop out a lot more. There we go. There we have hipjiro. It's very juicy and bubbly. You know what? I'm just gonna try another shade. Maybe try this one on top of it, thick dew. Since I'm using it on top, it wouldn't really show true color, but just for fun. Can you see the difference? It feels so juicy and creamy, really moisturizing on the lip. Love it. It's like the perfect summer lip. If only you could wear this in summer. I mean, summer in 2020, it's not like any normal summer. It's a summer with masks, hot dead summer. So that is the makeup done. I tried some new products. Came out with this somewhat of a glittery eye. Juicy cheeks, dewy skin, dewy lips. The makeup kind of matches with my outfit, don't you think? <laughs> Which is cute. I love matching my makeup with my outfit. But this is just a coincidence, you know? I told you I was good at improvising. Where am I not? Anyways, that is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching all the way through. If you have watched it all the way through, I'll be back with another video and I'll see you on that next video. Goodbye.